Okay, so as you can see here on the uh, instrument cluster, there is this warning here that tells me to check the brake lights. Now, this this uh, this warning has come has been uh, intermittent uh, for the last what last few months. Okay, um, even si ever since Evo Enduro, it was there. So now, right now, you see here the warning has gone. It's been replaced. Uh, by the normal display, but you see these two arrows here. These two arrows point to me that there is an indication that there is a there's a fault. Okay, and then when you press this this uh, this button here, it will show you back what is the fault. Then if you were to press B C, then you would resume back the trip computer functions. So now I step on the brake lights. Okay, you can see the left side's not working. Right side's working, third brake light's working. Okay, so let's open the boot. And uh, to access the tail lights, you remove this. So you can see here, the wiring, how it works is, this, is, this comes from the wiring loom, it goes into this connector. The bulbs are all held here in these sockets. So what you do is, you twist this and you pull the bulb out. So here is the socket and you can see from here, um, this socket for whatever reason is obviously burnt. So is the bulb. So I've, got, I've gotten a, a set, I've gotten a replacement, um, replacement socket here. This from uh, Bavarian Auto. So here is it out from the plastic, cost me quite a bit, 65 bucks. Okay, and as you can see from the plastic assembly, uh, these are the connectors that when you plug this in, it connects to here and then it goes to the bulb. All right. So I've also, uh, now this one is costly, brand new, original 65 ringgit for one. All right. Uh, you can get, get them from half cut shop, I think, but get a used one from a half cut shop. But uh, seeing that how, how easily this one burned uh, i'm inclined to just just get a new one straight away so here's a new bulb which i bought which uh two ringgit for one bulb bought this and uh, very very easily i'll just put this inside here and twist so it's there nice and secure and Whoa. yeah so now I just just uh, just put this inside here, okay. Okay, now I turn it in. This feels secure now, right? Let me just see what happens now. Okay, so um, the uh, after I changed the socket didn't seem to work so what I'm doing going to do this time is to go deeper to the source of the problem what I do is okay I need to pull this out connector out all right pull this connector out and uh, and I have to to remove the tail light housing from these four uh, from these four bolts here Alright guys, so just to show you um, how this head uh, tail light works is this. So here's where the connector comes in and you can see all these metal pieces all right, that, that actually will form the circuit to the respective lights. So this is the, this is the signal light uh, somewhere behind there, that's the LED strip for the, uh, that's the strip for the tail light. All right, um, then this one here presumably connects to the fault light. This connects to the reverse light and this here to, well, the brake light. And what has happened here is that, as you can see, this is the, this is the, the part of the, of the connector, all right? This metal piece here connects with, with, the, with the metal plate here. And you can see there, uh, that connection is interrupted by some burn marks or something like that. So what I am trying to do is, all right, uh, this is a makeshift solution because if this doesn't work, means this tail light housing is condemned. Uh, I am going to solder 
all right uh, over this and see whether it works or not so i was not this is not something that i've been very good at in school but i'm going to give it a try see if it worked now that the solder has cooled down a bit so we align all this in here no need to screw no need to to secure it first just get the connector in all right and Nope, still tak boleh. Well, whatever that soldered there came off. So I believe the, uh, the, the idea behind this was right, but my execution of it was utterly, utterly poor. Yeah, I've just retried the soldering attempt. Let's see if this one works better. All right, let's test it. Oh yeah! Let's secure the tail light back. Okay, now let me just show you now let me just show you the other side as well all right this is the right side where they put the battery of the e39 here as well as the fuse box and i just want to point you this quite obviously a macgyver's wiring job there all right uh with with wires spliced off from the original wiring so i believe this one was previously burnt uh, the same way as the one on the left side and the owner one of the previous owners just uh, did this as a makeshift. So I've also bought another a second spare socket and bulb uh, to replace that but uh, I think I'll leave that for another day.